Okay, what we're going to look at today is uh, clocks and telling the time because it's quite important even at even at GCSE they'll give you some questions where they might give you a clock and uh, ask you to tell the time or work out some times that are forward from that and and such and such so let's just focus on actually using a clock and converting it into the 24 hour clock instead of the 12 hour face that you see on a on a general face of a clock now I don't I don't have any clocks available so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to draw myself what is a clock face it's just the lid of something we have in the kitchen so I've got myself a nice circular um, sort of like clock face and you always have a center of a clock which is where the hands go okay and then on each end of the clock you will have the 12 o'clock position and the 6 o'clock position and then to the left and the right you will have the 3 o'clock position and the 9 o'clock position uh, when you're talking about hours these could be minutes though and I'll go through that in a minute okay so you've got your ones and your twos and your fours and your fives seven and eight it always goes around in order ten and eleven so we got a rough idea of what a clock face looks like now now um, this uh, let's start with one that could either be uh, 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. okay so 1 a.m. or p.m. but it also if a hand is pointing to the one so if the little hands somewhere around the one just after the one or in between the two and the one then you know it's going to be 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. but it all could also be your five minutes okay so the two could represent 2 a.m. or p.m. but it could also represent for the minutes hand 10 minutes the three would be 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. but it also represents 15 minutes the four represents 4 a.m. or 4 p.m. but it also represents 20 minutes okay depending on what the big hands doing so the hours is controlled by the small hand on a clock and the minutes is the big hand okay so I know it sounds a bit obvious but it really does need to be pointed out sometimes now so we're going from 20 minutes at 4 so 25 minutes would be at 5 20 uh, sorry 30 minutes would be at because it goes around every hand every number is equivalent to 5 minutes so 30 minutes then 35 minutes then 40 minutes then 9 is 45 minutes sometimes we say quarter to just like we say quarter past when it's at three and we say half past when it's at six okay so whenever the big hands are either of those three um, so 50 minutes at 10 55 minutes at 11 and then we're back to our 60 minutes which is one hour at 12 okay so as we go as the big hand goes around the clock you're adding on minutes each time so you go 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and then that's one hour so whenever you get to the hour whenever the big hands on the hour your little hand will be pointing directly at one of these numbers and that will tell you what time it is whether it's one o'clock seven o'clock ten o'clock it could be a.m. it could be p.m. so the problem with this clock is it only tells you for 12 hours and we have 24 hours in a day so what we do is we use a 24 hour clock and let's just go through some clock times so um, beginning of a day let's say midnight okay when the new when one day goes to another the time and that is the morning okay that's a.m. Um, the afternoon one is slightly different p.m. so when it's in the morning and it's just gone midnight 
your 24 hour clock looks like that or when it's at midnight okay your 24 hour clock looks like that it's zero hours zero minutes um, if your hand was let's say at one o'clock on this you wouldn't know whether it's morning or evening um, well actually if it's still 12 o'clock and it's afternoon so when it's in the evening you have to add on 12 hours so it'd be 12 p.m okay so if this was at one o'clock then it would be at one o'clock but if it was in in the morning if it was in the afternoon you add on 12 hours and that is also one o'clock but that's in the afternoon p.m and this one's in the morning so i can run through the morning ones and that is just the numbers on this clock but don't forget we've got hours and it could be 10 11 or 12 so we need to put a zero in front of the digits so when we got two o'clock in the morning we could have two o'clock in the afternoon okay so it's the difference is 12 each time so three o'clock in the morning is three o'clock in the afternoon but on the 24 hour clock because that's what this is 24 hour clock um, we would have an extra 12 hours for the afternoon time so four o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the afternoon five o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the afternoon six o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the afternoon seven in the morning seven in the evening eight in the morning and now we go to 20 because we need to add 12 onto eight eight in the evening nine in the morning let's just write them all down 10 in the morning 11 in the morning and then what it is is we're back to 12 in the morning or midnight okay um so what have we got well actually 12 goes into the afternoon so that's why the 12 doesn't go down so nine in the morning is equivalent to 21 well it's not equivalent to 2100 hours but in the evening nine in the evening is 21 zero zero 22 zero zero is 10 in the evening and 23 zero zero is 11 in the okay so hopefully this makes a little bit of sense so what we'll do is we'll look at some clock faces and then we're going to write down well if this was in the morning it would be this time and if this was in the evening it would be this time okay using a 24-hour clock that's what we're going to do now so my first clock that i've got here I've got the little hand is facing to the 12 and the big hand is facing to the 12. So let's first of all look at the big hand. Big hand's really important, okay? When it's at 12, it means it's at zero minutes. Okay? And the little hand tells you which hour you're at. So I'm somewhere, it's always between two numbers. So it's between 12 and between one. Now, remember, 12 can be zero hours, but it can also be 12 hours when it's in the evening. So when it's in the morning, when the little hand's at 12, it's zero, zero. When it's in the evening, the little hand's at 12, or when it's in the afternoon, so we've got 12 hours, and that's your p.m. time. So the minutes hands is really important. It tells the big hand tells you how many minutes you are, and remember they go around in five each time. Okay, and then the small hand tells you which hour you're at. You're either at the zero hour, which is midnight, or the twelve hour, which is midday. So we've got midnight for the top one, and midday for the bottom one. All right. Let's have a look at the second question. Right, the minute hands at 12 again, so there's zero minutes. So let's do the AM one and the PM one. The little hand tells me it's at one. So that's 1 AM. So that's zero one AM. Or it's at 1 PM. 
So I need to add on another 12 hours, remember, because we there are 12 hours halfway through the day, so we just need to add on the 12. And 12 onto 1 is 13. So for the 24-hour clock, we've got 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. Okay, so this clock, if I saw this, and I didn't know what time of day it was, didn't know whether it was morning or evening, um, then I don't know why, maybe I, there's just no lights on and I'm not outside, okay? Um, then I would first of all look at the minutes hand, and then go to the hours hand. All right, let's have a look at this third one. So the minutes hand is at the six. Remember, it's five minutes for each one. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, so 30 minutes. So let's do 30 minutes, and this is our AM. And the little hand is halfway between the nine and the 10. So that tells me it's past nine o'clock, but not quite 10 o'clock, okay? So therefore, it must be 9.30 in the morning. Now, if this was in the evening, and this is what the clock was saying, then I just need to add on 12 hours to the 9 hours. So I've got 21, 30. So it's either 9 and 30 in the morning or 9, 30 in the evening. Let's have a look at the next one. Right, the, lit, the big hand tells us the minutes. So let's do the minutes first. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes. So we've got 45 minutes. Now we need to figure out the hours. So it's past 1, 2, 3, 4. Not quite up. So the little hand's not quite up to 5. So it's somewhere between 4 and 5. So therefore it must be 4, 45. So 0, 4, 45 for the morning. For the evening, I need to add on 12. So that's 16.45 in the evening. You don't actually need the a.m. or the p.m. when you do the 24-hour clock. Because if you're doing the 24-hour clock, you know one's either morning and one's evening. So you don't need to put the a.m. and the p.m. You just need to get the numbers right and the times right. OK, let's have a look at the last two. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do this this time without the a.m. and the p.m. So the big hand is at the 7, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. Doesn't matter whether it's a.m. or p.m., it's still going to be 35 minutes. Right, if it's in the morning, then the little hand is just over halfway between the 11 and the 12, so it's going to be 11.35, 11.35 in the morning. But if it's in the evening, I need to add on 12. So that's 23.35. And the last one, the big hand's facing at the one. So that means it's five minutes past. So I need to put a five in there. It's not five zero though. It's zero five represents five minutes. Okay. Zero five represents five minutes. And it's just past the one hand. So therefore, it's going to be 1 and 5, 0, 5. So it's what 5 minutes past 1. And if it was in the evening, I'd add on 12 hours. So I'd get 1, 0, 5, 13, 0, 5. So that's your 24-hour clock from the face of the clock, OK? So it could be two possible times. Right, have a go at the questions. I'd like you to write down the two possible times it can be the morning one and the evening one in the 24 hour clock.